Hi, it's Todd Breckis, Chief Product Officer at Renaissance. Really happy to share with you our Spring 2024 Roadmap Review. As always, we like to begin with our mission to accelerate learning for all children and adults of all ability levels and ethnic and social backgrounds worldwide. That's been our mission since 1986, and it remains the same. We've got a great agenda today. We're going to have a look at a brand new experience, Renaissance Next. We're also going to meet Vanessa Cerullo, our VP of product at Nearpod, and she's going to share a little bit about the exciting things happening at Nearpod. And last, I'm going to share the big picture themes of what's coming for back to school. But I can't wait for you to see a preview of Renaissance Next. No two children are the same, and we can't teach them the same. Now, with Renaissance Next, you can finally see every student. Renaissance Next is transforming instruction by bringing assessment, practice, and instructional data in one place with actionable recommendations to guide teachers on what's next. Renaissance Next, teaching made easier. So we've been building the Renaissance ecosystem of products, many products coming together to work together to support growth and equitable student outcomes. We have accurate assessments, we have purposeful practice and instruction, and we have products that provide actionable insights. With Renaissance Next, we're providing an experience layer for teachers to drive those instructional decisions right from immediate assessment results with practical suggestions of teaching and learning activities, as well as rich insights about where students are struggling and what we should be working on next. We're super excited to launch this in Back to School 2024, so stay tuned, you're gonna hear a lot more about Renaissance next. As we are accustomed in this segment, we also like to introduce product leaders. I'm really excited for you all to meet Vanessa Cerullo. Vanessa, welcome to Renaissance and welcome to Leading Nearpod. Thank you so much, uh, Todd. I am so honored to be here. Tell us a little bit about yourself and, and kind of what brings you and your, your passion to Renaissance and Nearpod. Sure. Um, you know, I started my career in research, asking big questions about what motivates kids. Why do teachers choose certain instructional strategies? Um, and it actually helped me make sense of my multilingual learner experience growing up. I've had an opportunity to work across the ed tech field, building digital and hybrid solutions across ELA, math, computer science, and engineering, but really saw Renaissance and Nearpod is a beacon for what is coming in, in the best, most exciting way to ed tech. But in, uh, so what about me, though? I want to talk about the roadmap. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off screen. You tell the team here a little bit more about what's happening with Nearpod and what's coming for 2024. So let's talk about our Nearpod roadmap. You know, we've spent quite a bit of time collecting customer feedback, talking to district leaders, teachers, students, talking to our internal folks and learning from the market in order to understand what is important to you. And we've built our roadmap in order to accomplish that. When you look at this, what we wanna do is create sort of a deeper and richer expansive experience and instruction that you need, that you are asking for. From the content curation and collaboration and how you create and collaborate around your own content built in our product, to the formative assessment insights that you need in order to make the right instructional decisions. And even going much deeper in the data rich insights that you need from reporting. And this goes even further. We're building out how you can make better sense of standards and skills alignment within our rich library, pushing into accessibility, the student experience, and even in security. What we're trying to do is make sure that you know that we are with you on this journey, that we're not just building to the things we want to build, but building towards the things you need to be your go-to instructional platform. I can talk about all of these all, all day long, but let's just hit on one that you have asked for, which is reporting. We're really excited to be looking at our data infrastructure and we're making big changes. The first change is going to be to our administrator usage reporting, really making it easier for admins to pull out that valuable data that they need to make informed decisions. From comparing lessons launched to student joins 
and really looking at breaking down the activity that's happening in Nearpod. This is just the beginning of what we're going to be doing with reporting. And the other exciting piece to this is how we're integrating our reporting ultimately with the Renaissance ecosystem of products. So that is all that is to come as we think about our roadmap and reporting. Vanessa, that's a pretty incredible uh, list. I know you could have given us about 25 slides because I've seen them. I'm really excited for you to continue to inform our Nearpod team, our pioneers, and all of those great users of Nearpod, one of the most popular applications in America and even globally now using Nearpod. So well done, and thank you for all your great work at Nearpod. Thank you, Todd. Well, in addition to Nearpod, we've got a lot of other roadmap themes for the products within Renaissance. Our themes at a high level, as you've probably seen, to expand this ecosystem, to make it easier to deliver assessment-driven instruction and practice. Second, as Nearpod drives this teacher at the center moment for Renaissance products, other products like Freckle and Mayan and Accelerated Reader and Lalilo all help put the teacher in the driving point of those recommendations guided by our Renaissance next launch. And third, we continue to deep dive on Star and Fastbridge and DNA and our, our School City product and EduClimber to continue to provide in the moment insights and MTSS strategies to help inform district decisions and classroom decisions alike. So a few highlights on both of these categories. For assessments and analytics, we're gonna see more FastBridge enhancement reports, including a brand new family report that we're pretty excited about. Our Sabres product, our well-being product, is enhanced to now be included in STAR, so that STAR and Sabres will work together just like FastBridge and Sabres have worked together. We're also expanding EduClimber. We're building deeper enhancements, deeper data connections, and expanding for larger school districts. And we're modernizing our DNA platform, including modernization of our usability, our workflow, our pre-built assessments, as well as how to pick and launch the right assessments with the right content for the classroom and for those benchmarking needs. On our practice and instruction side, we continue to build deeper content in instructional skills, practice for literacy, practice for math, guided practice within our math line for K to five, and our Lalilo product is getting even more integrated with assessments like our Star Phonics assessment. Mayan is getting a complete redo of our project area so that it becomes really powerful to take all the amazing books within Mayan and make project-based learning activities on the fly for teachers, simple and easy. We're continuing to guide more content through AR and Mayan, and we continue to, as, as Vanessa just talked about, the data-driven instructional models for Nearpod. And with Flocabulary, we're adding playlist capabilities so that teachers can sort and sequence the right content with Flocabulary. There's a lot going on at Renaissance, but we continue to invest in our products for you, the teacher, you, the administrator, and guiding at the end of the day, accelerating learning for all. So that concludes our, our session today. We love to hear your feedback as always. So continue to join the conversation, continue to reach out to us. If you have feedback, you can reach to us through our social media platforms or through any of the help uh, support that we have in our products. Thank you so much and have a great spring.